Court Reporter with Stovall and Associates. Hello and welcome back to Court Reporter. I'm Michael Selbeck and I'm here with Mr. Bill Dolan uh, running for County Commissioner District 5, uh, which is South Side. Southeast. Southeast, thank you. And um, what made you decide to run for County Commissioner? Well, you know, first off, we have a, a great county and a great town here and we've got a lot of little small towns throughout the county which are, are marvelous little counties or towns. And if you've never been to them, I suggest everybody, you know, take a road trip there in the summer and just go up and, and scout these places out. It's, it's fabulous. But the county has some problems. The county's biggest problem is their budget. They can never seem to live within their budget. It's always a fifth hour, get the budget ratified so that we can get it to, to Tona Paul. Um, the sitting county commissioner, Mr. Schenhofen, has, has stated publicly that he has cut the budget by um, five million dollars over his term in office and laid off 50 employees. I think there's other ways of tightening the belt without having to lay off employees um, and ultimately cutting services to the residents that need it. And, and case in point is the incident with the dispatchers that just came up of closing the dispatch center in Tonopah and Beatty. Oh, I didn't know um, they did. That was, that was a, a, a big deal. Um, people are being laid off, um, but the bottom line result that I have a problem with is public safety. Is this going to hurt those residents up in Manhattan, Gabs, um, that, you know, we're already having a problem with, with services up there as far as radio service with the de deputies and the fire departments. Is this going to hinder that? And I don't want to see anybody have one problem up there like that. That, that cannot happen. Right. Public safety is the utmost. So we got to balance the budget. We have to we have to look at the numbers. We have to figure out how we can generate more tax dollars coming in from businesses that want to relocate here, and that is the bottom line. Bringing in good economic development that will bring in good paying jobs, um, higher minimum wage jobs, all the way up to scaling and prevailing wage. Um, you know our our roads. Um, in Pahrump. Um, there are some that have been redone uh, the last couple of years and a lot of that was funded by NDOT. Um, we need to look at these roads. We need to reallocate where we're spending the money. Um, in 2013, and I'll pick on Mance Road on the south end, was the number one road to be redone. They still haven't touched it. It is still an abomination. Really? Um, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the sitting commissioners are all for, well, well I'm going to get these roads taken care of, you know. Well, you've had four years to get the roads taken care of. If you can't get the job done, then it's time to say thank you. You've done a good job for four years. We're going to bring in fresh blood to get it done. Get it done. Exactly. Um, uh, we've got big problems with uh, water in our valley where they're saying that uh, our recharge rate isn't enough to take care of and sustain what's going on. Um, the water district is, is doing a good job. Uh, the Basin 162 committee is just getting off their feet. I think they need a little more guidance on, on where to go. Okay. Um, I have read a lot of reports and, and sat through a lot of meetings. I'm not so sure as if we have a shortage of water, but we have a massive over allocation of water. And that was done by the state engineer many years ago, and we're going to have to come up with a plan to correct that somehow. Um, is it going to be easy? No. Um, I live on a well and septic, and I want my well and septic left alone. I want every well and septic left alone that is in good operating condition and order. Right. I don't care if you've got uh, sewer and water running down your street. If you're on a well and septic, until such time as that well and septic is no longer any good, you, you, under my watch, I will not vote to make it mandatory for anybody to hook up. Right. Only once they go bad, period. Um, but as far as, again, I can't stress this enough. Um, I fought in 2008, 2009, and 10. Um, in the two years I was off uh, dealing with an illness, I even went before the town board twice on water issues um, to leave the wells and septics alone and point out why that is so important. Right. Well, I know as a 10-year realtor in this town, uh, one of my client's main questions are, is my well going to go dry? So, I mean, I know that's a concern of everybody's, but what you've seen, we still have enough water. We have, we have enough water to sustain what we have right now. We just have to readjust the plan going forward. Going forward. And, and there's a lot of over allocation. Um, you've got several 
um, large areas of um, development that was approved back in 2004, 5, 6, um, up off of um, 160 down in the south end. And I don't want to say the developer's name, right. but um, I mean, they have water allocated um, at a certain rate. Okay. Okay. I think uh, as far as on paper of what they had to purchase. Right. I, I think that those allocations are, are high and we should scale those back. back. Um, most of us have wells and septics um, that are on the well have, I believe it's uh, two acre feet a year that we can use. They're talking about cutting that down to a half an acre foot. And I say, leave the current ones alone. Right. Future ones. Future ones. You lower them down. Those that haven't been built, those that are on paper, cut those down. That makes sense to and me. And let's balance it out fairly and equally and leave, again, leave the wells and septics alone. I'm very passionate about that. Well, that would, I'll tell you what, that would uh, make me vote for you right there because I know I don't want people messing with mine. Uh, not that we use a overly... A, lot of water but it's nice to know it's there if we need it mm -hmm. um so if people do want to uh find out more about uh mr dolan is there a facebook page uh website we, uh, anything like that that they can we uh we do have a facebook page and i believe that they're gonna they put that on the screen it's uh, bill dolan for nye county commissioner district five and uh, you can private message me off that site if you don't want to put something online um, okay. You can also reach me through my uh, through my private email, which is bill at dolanranch.com. And that comes directly to me, and uh, I usually answer all emails I get within within a 24 to 36 hour period. Um, okay. Some days I'm a little overwhelmed with emails and, and meetings, but um, that's fine. And my phone number, if anybody wants to give me a call, is 702-400-0190. Somebody asked me the other day why I didn't change it to a 775 number. Uh -huh. And I said, I've had this phone number for 30 years now in the state of Nevada, and I, you know, I'm just going to keep it. I don't blame you. Well, Bill, it's been a pleasure. You seem like a wonderful candidate. And I'm not in your district, but if I was, I'd be giving you a call. Thank so, you, sir. I appreciate you, sir. the opportunity to come on uh, the Stovall Show. Thank you. We'll see you guys next week on Stovall & Associates. Court Reporter with Stovall & Associates.